Hello everybody, welcome back to Coon Valley Campers. Today we are going to show you how to put a ply floor in your camper van. So today we are going to be talking through and showing you what you are going to do to fit a ply floor. Now there are some different options when it comes to fitting your ply floor and in my opinion it is down to the size of the van you're putting it in. When you've got a smaller van such as this, a, transit, a Ford Transit or a Volkswagen Transporter, that sort of size van, you want to try and maintain as much interior space as possible so you will therefore mount your ply floor as close to the metal floor as possible. When you've got a bigger van such as a, a Mercedes Sprinter or Volkswagen Crafter, any of the large high or the high roofed vans for example you've got the headroom to maybe allow a thicker floor and therefore some thicker insulation. So on a smaller van such as this we'll be screwing the ply directly to the metal floor. On a bigger van you may fill out the floor with some wooden battens, fill those gaps with some insulation of your choice and then lay a plywood floor on top of that. The floor we have chosen today is a 12 millimeter hardwood ply floor and that is available from Custom Shop Designs. We get most if not all of our plywood products from Custom Shop Designs and they all come CNC cut and delivered straight to our door for a very very reasonable price. Um, we're not sponsored by Custom Shop Designs, we just really like their products and we're very very happy to recommend them. Uh, like I say, this one in particular is a 12mm ply, but you can order it in a 9mm ply if you prefer. Again, all you need to do is specify to the guys at Custom Shop Designs what product it is you want, and they will ship it directly to your door. Let's get on and open it. The tools that you are going to need today are as follows. You are going to need a drill with a variety of drill bits, a drill driver with a posi drive bit in the end and some screws and they are 16 millimeter in length screws. We are going to need some masking tape and a sharpie and I'll show you why in a minute. And if we need to trim our floor down in any way, shape or form, we have a jigsaw on hand and a sander just to finish off around the edges of the floor. What we're also gonna need are straight edges to mark the floor. When we are marking down on the van where we want the screws, we are gonna need to translate those marks onto the wood floor using straight edges, tape and a Sharpie. Not forgetting the safety aspect, wearing a good pair of gloves and or uh, protective specs as and when you're cutting and or using a sander, very important so not to get any dust or rubbish in your eyes. If you're laying a floor in your van for the first time you are going to want to know where to screw it down once you've got the floor fitted correctly. Now in reality you could probably just buzz a screw in anywhere on the floor but the way I would prefer to do it is just putting screws into the tops of the ridges on the floor. And that is because if you were to just sink a screw right into the, the trench of the floor, the low part of the floor, as you buzz that screw down, you may bow the floor and not get a nice level surface. And at the end of the day, we really are after, are after a nice level floor the whole way. Um, and how are we gonna do that? This is why we've got the masking tape and the Sharpie, because what we're gonna do is mark along the front side and the rear as to where we're going to want our line of screws. For example, I'm going to want a line of screws on this ridge, this one in the centre, and this one to the left. And down the side, I want to have the screws evenly spaced as well. So I'll have a line of screws about along here, another set of screws here, and then the halfway point of the floor we want a set of screws just in front of that also. Um, and that really gives the floor the best chance of maintaining a flat surface really. Again, if you're gonna try and screw in a flat area such as this, it's not gonna work very well for you. Um, in larger areas of uh, floor with no ridges, what we're actually gonna do is infill that area with a piece of ply cut to size 
and then that will give the finishing or the top layer of floor a nice surface to sit on top of again just so if any pressure is put on that piece of floor where there's a big space of no ridges you won't get a bow in that piece of floor. Custom Shop Designs has made such a well-fitting floor, I'm having trouble putting it in. Now that's fine because this van is gonna get carpeted and insulated and sound deadened anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is use the jigsaw and sander that we've already shown you, take about five mil all the way off around the edge and around the wheel arches to allow for that carpet and sound deadening. And then we're gonna give Fit and the Floor another go. So, floor's all trimmed now. Let's see if she fits. There we go, no bother there whatsoever. Um, obviously we have got a nice big gap around the edge now, but I'm very happy that we've done that because when it comes to doing the carpeting and insulation, like I said, we're actually gonna have a really nice gap all the way around. So yeah, very, very glad that we've cut and trimmed it down. Now you can see why we've put this tape all the way around. If we'd made some marks on the floor, then put the ply flooring down, we'd never have been able to see it. So what we're gonna do now is spend a bit of time just lining up all our marks together, um, drawing a bit of a grid system on the floor and then marking down exactly where we want to put our screws in. Then we'll pre-drill the holes for our screws, buzz the screws in with the drill driver and we'll call it done. As you can see, we've now marked on the floor as and where we're going to be screwing down our board. Um, we know for a fact that all of those lines and those dots correlate to all of the high points on the floor, the ridges if you will, and we're gonna have that floor screwed down level on every single point. What we're gonna do now is cut to a little montage of me drilling and screwing all the holes ready to put the screws in. So there we have it, nice simple one today, how to fit your ply floor. How to <laughs> <laughs> And there we have it, nice simple one for you today, just quite simply, how to fit your ply floor. If you have a look up here, we have the video on how to insulate your floor. And if you have a look down here on this video, it's how to lay the outro flooring on your newly installed ply floor. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video and any of the tools and or products you've seen today have a look down at our brand new website, coombevalleycampers.com, where you can find and buy all the products that you've seen in this video today. Thank you very much.